Hey guys, so I got some PR from Dermalogica and I don't know about you but whenever I get new products I just want to try it and use it and you know put everything on my skin all at once but we're gonna try something new tonight <laughs> today is at night and I'm filming this but we're gonna try something new we're gonna be doing a chit chat do my skincare with me because there's some things that are on my mind that I want to talk about and I feel like why not okay so the first product that I'm going to be using is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse and honestly just one pump, rub it in my hands and literally just put it all over my face. Okay so we are in July. I did not set any resolutions for 2021 because I was not feeling my best and I was like if I don't feel good mentally then I know I'm not going to be achieving a lot of goals because I'm not in the best state of mind right so the only goal that I set for 2021 which I actually accomplished was to figure out what's going on when it comes to my mental health like I started therapy I went and saw a psychiatrist which diagnosed me with ADHD and depression and that's still an ongoing thing like 2021 has been rough for your girl but we move <laughs> I look so cute <laughs> but yeah that's what my face looks like with the pre on so my eyes are closed because I don't want oil to run into my eyes okay now that I've washed the oil off of my face I'm gonna go in with a special cleansing gel and I love this so much because it's so gentle like it just feels so nice on your skin and it doesn't feel like if it's like stripping the moisture off of your skin and making your feel skin dry after you use it I don't have like scents. I wouldn't say that I have sensitive skin, but I don't like using like extremely harsh products on my skin either just because it's not like that sensitive. So I've been using the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel, and every time I try to use something else, I just always come back to this. It's so good. But yes, back to our conversation. Honestly, the last six months of 2021 just felt like orientation. Like, hey guys, this is what I expect. But it just took longer than expected, as in it took six months. And I feel like my mental health has gotten to the point where in this second half of the year, I definitely want to set goals and intentions because I don't want to feel like I waste another year. Like 2020, was literally like uh okay so what the hell are we doing if we can't do anything we are inside a lot of what i do requires me to be interacting with people i mean i'm not talking about the social media influencer aspect of it i'm talking about marketing and content creation for brands and it was hard i washed my face i washed off the special content gel and now we are moving on to the daily microfolians which has slowly become one of my favorite Dermalogica products. Ooh, that was a little bit too much, but it's a powder. And all you have to do is just add a couple drops of water to it. Rub it up in your hands and apply it to your face. This just helps keep your skin looking bright. It's just, it's a chemical exfoliant. A chemical exfoliant, I think that's what it is. But yeah, it keeps my skin like very bright and my skin just feels really small I have to use on this and I try to use this every day but I use it especially on days when I had makeup on because I don't know it just makes me feel better I have no real reason I just use it because of that I know I don't look much different but I promise you I just had one of the best showers like you know when you go out and you just like feeling real tired 
and that also just like hits your body it just prepares you for bed yeah that's how I'm feeling right now I could just like jump on my bed but skincare can't forget the skincare one of the new products that I got is the multi-active toner and I love that this is a spray oh my gosh I don't like using cotton I feel like that's very wasteful so what I usually do is put the toner in my hands and just like slather it all over my face but this is so much more convenient I thought about doing like a digital vision board and I haven't completely ruled out the thoughts yet but at the same time I'm just like mm, uh, I'm not really motivated to do that because honestly like once I know what I'm trying to achieve I could work towards it like all of the prettiness and stuff like it's cool and fun to do but it doesn't really do much for me it's like people who plan and have like an agenda or like a planner and they take time out to decorate it like that's cool that's fun that's cute but i don't need all of that you know i just need to write down the goals so i think that is what is more important to me right now next i'm going in with the power bright dark spot serum and i have actually been using this okay so i got a lot of breakouts on my cheeks um you can still see a lot of it but it was way worse and i feel like this has definitely been helping because this is the only thing that i've been using specifically for like dark mats dark marks so just putting that all over i don't even know if i'm using it correctly but there's what it's doing <laughs> but yeah so i don't need a digital vision board but what i usually do at the beginning of every month is not every month every year wow i'm really tired what i usually do at the beginning of every year is find a word or phrase that I want to use as a theme and I've been doing this for the past couple of years like in 2017 it was no waste woman slash mission get cute 2017 because I just finished university and I needed to figure out my life so I didn't want to be a waste woman and I knew nothing about self-care so I was trying to you know put some things into practice and get cute and then after doing that it was whole hot girl 2018 and it wasn't necessarily like a physical glow up only like mentally i just wanted to be like a whole hot girl boss bitch energy kind of thing then 2019 was a level up because i was making a lot of progress in my life but at the same time i just felt like i was very like in my comfort zone so i wanted to level up i'm using this sleep the sound sleep cocoon and this is a night gel cream and i used this last night and it felt so good but yeah um for 2020 my phrase was collaboration with a competition i feel like as a person like i always try to help a new one in any way that I can and in the local influencer community not that it's very catty but I felt like everybody was just doing their own thing which is great Every nothing is wrong with that but like if you really want to grow collaboration could help you you know connect with each other's audiences and it wasn't just like from the perspective as a, of an influencer I just like in all areas of my life I just wanted to work with more persons locally and collaborate. Have no I, I'm not a very competitive person at, as well, like that's not really my nature. So I just wanted to meet new people and do cool things. But in twenty twenty one my word is authenticity. The thing is, I feel like I'm a very authentic person. I don't feel like I should be describing myself as that, but it's something that I strive to be. And I wanted to do more things that are 
more me and not necessarily because it will get a lot more likes or it's trendy like I'm too old to be keeping up with the trends obviously I'll do some trendy things if it fits my personality and if I could find a way to integrate it seamlessly into my content but I like, trying to keep up with the truances I was just like you got is 26 years old it's time for me to live more me skin is skinning <laughs> but yeah so with authenticity my content creation goals are as follows i feel like i want you to hold me accountable and the only way y'all could do it is if i tell you all right so let's start off with instagram instagram is my biggest platform but lately it has been the platform that has been stressing me out the most i usually grew at least 10 sorry 10k followers a year I've been losing a lot of followers, I don't know what's up with that, but I think that I have been changing my content, so it's understandable. But I think that I want to grow to at least 45k by the end of the year, at least 5,000 new followers, well 6,000 because right now I'm 39k. Then let's talk about YouTube, so YouTube is the platform that I love the most. It's where I started, but it's the one that I've been struggling on the most because I don't know what to do. Like, I'm currently at a 7.5k, I think, and I want to get to at least 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent. I'm not getting into the groove of things, so I'm trying to post at least every Sunday but I eventually want to go to two times a week on Thursdays and Sundays but you know starting off slow and slowly making our way to the two days a week because just doing this I'm having fun I also want to get at least a thousand views per video by the end of the year that is doable I think and now lastly TikTok I have not figured out what my strategy for TikTok is yet. What kind of content I want to create, like, I have no idea. But at the moment, I have 5,000, I think. I know I have 5,000 followers for sure. So with TikTok being new and being, like, you have a better chance of growing quicker. I want to push myself to at least 20k. If I don't reach it, like, that's fine, but you know what, like, let's aim for 20k followers on TikTok and also to figure out what the hell I'm going to put on that platform because at the moment, like, I don't know where I fit in. <laughs> and well, even though 2020's phrase was collaboration of a competition, that would forever be a theme in my life. I feel like that is the kind of person that I want to be. Let's collaborate. Let's do things together let's help each other grow let's you know just support one another so it's the theme that is always going to be rolling over into the rest of my years and yeah that's the end of my skincare chat chat i guess it's a get on ready with me and yeah if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe follow me on my social media platforms if you aren't already um like this video if you liked it leave me comments let me know what else i should do because y'all i need help i need ideas give me some and yeah that's all for now thank you guys so much for watching bye